Well, the streetcar continues to be a work in progress for the city of Omaha. Yeah, the streetcar authority met for the first time today in two months to discuss the latest advancements on the project. It'll run down Farnham, and that's where KETV Newswatch 7's Eddie Messel is live from Turner Park with more on today's meeting. Eddie. Rob, Julie, the Omaha Streetcar Authority met today for the first time since May 13th. They voted on three different items, all three passing unanimously. The biggest being authorizing the work by the MUD that is estimated to cost $1,068,000 to relocate natural gas lines. Yes. Motion passed five to zero. That motion and $1,068,000 is the cost the Omaha Streetcar Authority will reimburse the Metropolitan Utilities District for. However, that might not be the one and only payment as the streetcar project continues. They're still in the process of, of design also, so there could be some additional approvals by the OSA board to, for uh, more work that's related to the, to the gas. Being voted on Tuesday at City Council is another major vote. It is for Ordinance 43886, an ordinance declaring the necessity of acquiring for the use of the City of Omaha the necessary private property for the purpose of the Omaha Streetcar Project. We get um, appraisals for that impact uh, that might occur to a private property owner, and essentially then we negotiate with that private property owner to make sure that whatever that impact might be, that we're compensating them for that situation. It's an ordinance some residents are concerned will force out local businesses. Stuby wants to ensure residents that is not the case, saying the city will not be buying up and condemning private property. In this particular case, uh, we're not looking at any property acquisitions. The majority are temporary easements and permanent easements. It does give the city the ability to, to utilize uh, the eminent domain, but in this particular case, you know, we're not taking any property. Stuby says those negotiations will start to take place in the next couple of weeks. The process that we go through, uh, you know, we sit down and talk with the property owner. We let them know what the situation is, give them an opportunity to provide some kind of response back. So it could be two to three months before we actually close on a particular situation. Now, I spoke with a local business owner today along the streetcar path. He tells me that he is not worried about this ordinance forcing him to go out of his business or to lose his business. He actually said he just got back from Portland, Oregon, and they have a ton of streetcars, and he said he's excited for them to get here to Omaha. Reporting in Omaha, Eddie Messel, KTV, Newswatch 7. All right.